So your friend tells you you need mods, otherwise you're quote-unquote jujunon, but you don't know what mods to download, and you don't know how to download them. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to do that all in one click. Well, not literally, it takes a few clicks, but anyways, let's get into it. The first method to get mods is by using the Sky Client installer. Head over to the Sky Client Discord link in the description and go to the download channel. Click on the installer your machine needs. I'm using a Windows computer, so I'm going to download the Windows installer. Click on the link and then visit the site. Now that you're on the website, just click download. It's going to start downloading and then you can just open this file. Now, once you open the installer, you can pick what mods you like. These are all the mods that I currently use. Once you're done choosing your mods and resource packs, just click install Sky Client. For me, I already have Sky Client, so it has this warning. I'm just going to install it anyways. Now you'll see it's starting to download all the stuff here in this command file. I already downloaded Sky Client, so it's going to be a little buggy, but now I actually have it installed. Now on the Minecraft launcher, if you click on the releases, then you'll see that Sky Client is there. Click on Sky Client, and then you can press play to start the game. And just like that, Sky Client has loaded. Now you just change all your settings to what they were. Now you're going to have all of the mods in Sky Client. If I join Skyblock, I can see that slash Skytills has the Skytills mod. And you use also there, SBA, all of the mods, and you can set them up. Just let me know if you want a tutorial for each mod in Sky Client. I could possibly make one in the future. Now onto the next method to download mods. Now for the next client, I'm going to be showing you how to download Badline. To download Badline client, just go to this link in the description and click download client. For me, I downloaded the Windows version up here and now it's downloading. Now it's done, I'm just going to open it. Just agree to the conditions and click next. Now you can just click install. Now click finish and it will run Badline on its own. And now Badline's installing. Now you're going to sign into your Minecraft account by clicking this. I'm going to sign in. Now that I signed in, I can review the settings and see if everything's correct. For me, I'm going to increase the RAM and then start the game. Now the game's starting. Now that the game has started, you can click multiplayer and join Hypixel. Now Badline asks you what you want. Just click on Skyblock and confirm. Now everything's going to be set up for Skyblock, but you can still edit everything. Just type Skyblock and you can change all the settings in here. Badline also has many other mods for PvP and quality of life. If you want anything, you can just click it to turn it on. In my opinion, Sky Client is better, but Badline has most of the stuff that Sky Client has. But you can't add special mods of your own. For example, if you paid for Skyblock Extras mod, you can add it onto Sky Client, but with Badline, you can't add external mods. For the next method, I'm going to show you how to download Forge. Go to the latest release and click one of these installers. I don't really know the difference, so I'm just going to pick the recommended one. Now wait the 5 seconds and then click on Skip. Now you're going to have the download. Whenever this download finishes, you're going to open it. And then make sure this is on install client and then press OK. Now that Forge is downloaded, you can just click on the releases and scroll until you see it. Sky Client uses a similar process, so I don't see it. So if you don't see any of these, just go to new installation and look for it in the versions. For me, it's all the way at the bottom. I can just click this because I need to add more RAM. I'm going to make this a four and then click create. Now it shows right here. To use Forge, you're going to do Windows R to go to App Data. You're going to click .minecraft, and then you're going to have to make a, a mods folder like this. Once you create a mods folder, you can just add all your favorite mods to it. These are some of the mods that I currently use in Forge. The reason why I don't like Forge as much as the other clients is because you have to download your own mods. For Badline and Sky Client, both let you decide what mods you can use. If you don't know which client to choose, just know that each client has their own benefits. For example, Sky Client is like a bad line and Forge. Sky Client has preset mods, but you can also add external mods, unlike Badline. Badline is mainly focused on preset mods, but you cannot add your own external mods. But on Forge, you have no preset mods, but you can choose everything on your own. Badline is the easiest client in my opinion, but Sky Client is more preferable for me. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe for future content. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.